Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 20 amp 12 to 24 volt car charger or smart charger from Eureka. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, when you first get the package and you open it, this is what you should expect. A little piece of styrofoam, a little flap here that has the uh, AC charger right here, or the AC cord, and then a set of, uh, looks like XT60 to uh, battery clamps, which these battery clamps I like because they're actually rubber. They're not that hard plastic. Um, I like these rubber variety um, a lot better. It just feels good. And actually the clamping, uh, they're really, they're real stiff. So uh, I'm pretty happy about this. And then the charger comes in this little protective sleeve. And here's what it looks like. And it has a little piece of plastic film over it. All right, and judging from the front, what we see, it says smart battery charger. There is a little display right here, which we will see when we plug it in. There is a press button right here, and that switches between lithium, AGM or lead acid batteries, or uh, LiPo 4 batteries. And it also will switch to a repair mode for your AGM or lead acid batteries. Do not use the repair mode for either lithium or a LiPo 4. Uh, that is not what those are supposed to be used for. Um, it also shows a little symbol right here for 12 and 24 volts. I don't know if that will actually light up. It'll probably say 12 or 24 volts on the screen, but we'll find out. Over here is a physical switch and it's three position switch. It says three amp or five amp, judging on which voltage you have it in. So probably three amps at 24 volts or five amps at 12 volts respectively. And then we have a middle switch for five amp and 10 amp. And then the far right will be a 10 amp and 20 amp charge. And right here are some symbols, which you should be able to see. Uh, there is a winter and summer mode, so it will adjust the voltage depending on how hot this unit gets. And then at the top, it does say 20 amps. On this side, here is the XT60 connector. And then on the other side, there is a small fan and the uh, AC input right here. And this unit also comes with its own user's manual and it does have five separate languages inside. It does come with this AC cord and what I like is it's nice and long. It is approximately uh, nine feet, which is a little under three meters. So let's go ahead and plug it into the unit and then we'll plug it into the wall and we'll see what the display shows without even the uh, battery clamps connected. All right, plugging it in. Okay, after about two seconds, and it does show, look at that. Uh, it shows that there is no battery connected and that the unit is turned off. It is right now selected on AGM lead acid. So we're gonna want LiPo 4 for this test. So we'll go ahead and press this button and you can see that it lights up the LiPo 4 screen right there. All right, let's go ahead and plug in our battery clamps. And again, nothing changes because we don't have anything connected. All right, well, I have selected a few uh, different varieties of batteries here. Um, I have the uh, Power Queen 25.6 volt uh, 50 amp hour battery. That's basically your 24 volt. That's what, that's what you use the 24 volt charger for. Um, I also have this 12.8 uh, volt 100 amp hour battery from Litime. That's going to be uh, demonstrating the 12 volt charging capacity of this. And then I also have this little tiny 12 volt 18 amp hour. Now you're probably wondering why would you have this? Well, I'll show you in just a little bit. I also have my uh, clamp meter right here because we're going to be testing to see if the amperage going into the batteries is actually uh, true. We're going to compare what this clamp meter says to what the display says. All right, first we're gonna go ahead and charge up this 12 volt lit time battery. We're gonna go ahead and set it on the lowest setting, which is five amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it up and then we'll start our testing. All right, when you connect it, it instantly starts to try to charge. I have it set on five amps over here. It is set for a LiPo 4 battery. And it does show a little meter right here, uh, kind of saying what the 
the state of charge of the battery is, but that's probably going by voltage. So that would really be good for your lead acid batteries, but not so much for your LiPo 4s or your lithiums. Uh, this also shows the internal temperature of the battery in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, it shows the current voltage of the battery and the speed of the amperage going in right now. It also shows right there on the little small screen, it shows a 12 volt symbol. All right, and the display shows uh, five amps going into the battery. So let's go ahead and test that. And I'm actually showing 5.11 amps going in. So that is great. Let's go ahead and switch it to the next level, which is going to be 10 amps. As you can hear, the fan, which was already running at the five amp speed, has sped up. So it's a little bit faster now for the 10 amp speed. Uh, the display shows 13.9 and it's at 10 amps so let's go ahead and test that and yeah we are getting right at 10 amps 10.05 amps so so far we're right on the mark let's go ahead and go all the way so now it is set on 20 amps the voltage is 14.3 so this battery is almost full i don't know how much longer we can charge it for and it is showing 16.7 amps. So let's go ahead and test that. And I'm actually showing uh, 15.35. But I didn't like the fact that this battery is practically full already. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another battery which I know is not completely full. All right, I went ahead and swapped out the Latime for this Red Odeo 165 amp hour battery, but that really doesn't matter because it's still a 12.8 volt battery. So let's go ahead and get the negative on, the positive on. The charger will automatically recognize that it's a 12 volt battery. This battery is right at 60% state of charge, so we have plenty of room to charge it. And last time it did show on the screen that it was 16.7 amps, but on the clamp meter it only showed 15.4 or something like that. All right, and for this battery, it's actually showing 17.3 amps, and the current voltage is 13.8. So now it shows 17.2 amps, and the clamp meter shows 15.84. So I think that's really about as high as you're going to get with this 20 amp charger. Uh, on the high setting, you're only going to get a 15 point something amp charge. Alright, and what's nice about this battery charger is that it does in fact switch from 12 to 24 volts. There's nothing you need to change in order to make that switch. So I'm just going to move it directly from this 12 volt to this 24 volt and start charging. Let's go ahead and move it back down to the lowest setting. Take off the positive and negative. Positive and negative to the 24 volt battery. It automatically switches to 24 volt mode. It shows the batteries at 26.7 volts and we are charging with 2.9 amps. So let's see what we really are having. We are charging at 3.01 amps. So that is exactly what it says. Let's go ahead and switch it to the five and 10 volt setting. So we should get a five amp charge on this setting. The display shows 4.9 amps. 5.05 amps so we're getting right what that right what that uh, that switch is kind of telling us we should be getting and now the highest setting which we should be getting 10 amps and on the display it shows 27.1 volts and 8.7 amps and my clamp meter shows 8.1 amps and these numbers really aren't that surprising when it comes to how inexpensive this battery charger is you know this battery charger only goes for like sixty dollars on amazon right now so getting 15 amps from the 20 amp max and getting like what eight amps from the 10 amp max uh that's pretty pretty typical if you're really wanting something that has that full boost to charge, you really need to go, um, you really need to go battery chemistry specific. Like if you're doing LiPo 4 batteries, buy a LiPo 4 charger if you really want that full 
20 amps or that full 30 or 50 amp charge. But if you're just starting the game and you really want an inexpensive charger, this will definitely do the trick. It just won't get up to that full peak of charge. All right, and why I have this little tiny battery? Well, this is an 18 amp battery. So you're not gonna wanna try to push 20 amps into this. That's a 1C charge rate, and this thing will not accept that at all. You know, you really should charge these at like 0.2C, or uh, you know, a 0.2C rate would be 3.6 amps. And so this charger, the lowest it goes is a five amp charge, but that's what's nice about this charger also. You can select this so it will charge at only five amps. That You can't do that with the 20 amp LiPo 4 charger. It's, it's a constant 20 amps. But with this one, you can actually select it down so you do have the possibility of charging a little tiny battery like this as well. You can go ahead and put the negative on, put the positive on. Again, it starts charging right up. And you just want to make sure that you have it set for that lowest setting for the size of battery that you have. All right, well, if you have any questions about the 20 amp Aurica charger, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.